Bandera, Stalin, Princess Olga of Kiev, Musk and Orban. What Putin told Carlson about the widely publicized interview of Vladimir Putin by American journalist Tucker Carlson turned out to be nothing more than another repetition of the Russian president's well-worn rhetoric. Putin talked about Stalin, complained about Bandera and Shukhevich, accused Ukraine of attacking Russia and mentioned Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban. The interview began with a half-hour interpretation of Ukraine's history by Putin. He reiterated his narrative that Ukraine was created by Vladimir Lenin, but now, according to his version, Ukraine was formed by Joseph Stalin as a result of World War II. Putin devoted 25 minutes to presenting his own history, despite the fact that the interview itself lasted just over two hours. During this historical briefing, the Hungarian Prime Minister was unexpectedly mentioned. Putin claimed that Hungarians in western Ukraine supposedly wanted to return to Hungary, but when Carlson asked if he had sent such proposals to Orban, he replied in the negative. Putin also mentioned Princess Olga of Kiev and Vladimir the Great during his discussion with Carlson about how Russians, who are deeply rooted in Christianity, supposedly very loyally treat people of other faiths and Russian authorities have always carefully treated other cultures and religions. Of course, Putin and Carlson did not bypass the topic of the war that Russia unleashed in Ukraine. Putin made it clear that he does not want the war to end because he has not achieved the goals set. In this context, the Russian president again mentioned the so-called denazification and this time even explained its purpose, not forgetting about Stefan Bandera and Roman Shukhevich. In addition, Putin told Carlson a tale about how Russia was not admitted to NATO, the idea of creating a joint missile defense system for Russia, Europe and the US, which he allegedly presented to former US President George W. Bush and about the fate of American journalist Gershkovich, who is currently behind bars in Russia, blaming the Central Intelligence Agency for the sabotage of the Nord Stream pipelines. He also praised the owner of SpaceX, Elon Musk, calling him a smart person with whom it is necessary to find common ground and cooperate.